this video we are going to discuss a program and the question for that is how to implement a java program to check leap year that any particular year mentioned or given by the user or we have initialized is a leap year or not so you might all know that a leap year has 366 days in total and now there are certain conditions to check whether a year is leap year or not so what are those conditions the very first condition we have is that it must be divisible by 4 And the second condition is that if the year is divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. That means if it is divisible by 100, then it is not a leap year. Now here arises an ambiguity that, uh, for instance, if we take the year to 100, then it is divisible by 100. Yes, of course, this particular year is divisible by 100. Hence, according to the condition, it should not be a leap year. But the second part, if it is divisible by 402, if this particular year is divisible by 400, then it is said to be a leap year. That if this particular year is divisible by 400 also, then it is a leap year. Hence, 2100 is a leap year because it is divisible by 100 and subsequently by 400 also. So, these two conditions are to be checked while we are implementing a program to check that a particular year is a leap year or not. For that, we will use the conditional statements only. That is a simple way of using it. That we will mention the condition that if year divisible by 400 is equals to equals to 0 then we have to return true we will make it a boolean function this particular year method we will make it a boolean then it, it will return as true if the year is a leap year then it will return true value and if the year is divisible by 100 and returning 0 then it is not a leap year it is a not leap year case so it will give that not a leap year. Next we will also check with 4 also the basic divisibility. So that we will also check in a if case and then it will return false and true whatever we want to return. Now then in the void main method what we have to do is firstly with the help of SOP statements and with the help of conditional statements which we have studied in ternary operator we are going to write like this this is a particular method which we will create naming year and then here here you can give the year whatever year you want to mention or for which year you want to check let's say if i want to check for 2018 and we use ternary operators like this only to return if this particular year divisibility is checked and then if it is true then firstly it will print this statement that is leap year or else it will print that not a leap year. So this is what it is going to print in the conditional statements and this we have studied in operator there's such kind of statements are known as ternary operator where we use a question mark symbol and separate the sim uh, statements with columns and here you can change the year also and check for another year also that it is a leap year or not as it checks for 2018 it will check that it is not a leap year as it is not divisible or the modulus of the divisible doesn't returns the zero value so it will check for false so false it will execute this second statement and as this second statement is executed then it will display that it is not a leap year so it is a very simple program now let us execute this program and see that how can we implement a java program to check leap year now here you can see that i have created a class named leap year and here you can see that i have declared a boolean method or a boolean function you can see year and it is having the parameter as an integer year it is passing now the conditions here are given that if year is divisible that is modulus divisible by 400 equals to equals to 0 that means the remainder comes out to be 0 then it is true it is a leap year if it is only divisible by 100 and giving 0 then it is not a leap year that means it is a false condition it is not a leap year if it is divisible by 4 then true it is a leap year or else return false
in the void main method you can see here this is how we have mentioned the ternary operator which we have studied in java this particular ternary operator we have mentioned is the first statement for printing the leap year and this is the second statement which is going to be print after checking the condition we are checking for the year 2021 which is the current year so let us check that it is a leap year or not which we all know that this is not a leap year but let us check so here you can see in the control it is printing that it is not a leap year for example if i change this particular statement here and print here as 2020 let's see that now here you can see as i check for the year 2020 it prints that yes it is a leap year so this is how we can check that a particular year mentioned or how can we implement a program of leap year with the help of java